the end of portable hunting. Back in 2004, Monster Hunter made its debut on PS2. It sold about half a mil. But it wasn't until Monster Hunter found its way to portable devices that it really found its shine and built what they call a cult following. The series began seeing many portable iterations on the PSP while also having a version, a different version on the Wii and like PS2 and things like that. And Monster Hunter's first portable version, Monster Hunter Freedom on the PSP, sold double of what Monster Hunter on the PS2 sold. And if that isn't a big enough sign to show you that Monster Hunter does the best on portable devices, then Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, which is a expanded version of Monster Hunter Freedom 2 on the PS2, is big enough proof that you're gonna need. Being the most popular Monster Hunter in the series to this day, selling 5.4 million copies. Oh my. I think Monster Hunter's biggest attraction is the skill and cooperation it takes to take down these monsters. And in Japan, it was very popular to meet up with your friends, you know, and ad hoc on your portable device and hunt these monsters. And back shit. on the day on the portable That's devices like shit. PSP, ad hoc was the only way to do this. And even though we now have, you know, servers on our portable devices, it still is pretty popular, at least in Japan. And with sales like I just mentioned, it's no wonder Capcom decided to jump ship and make uh, Monster Hunters exclusively on the 3DS. Having the best selling handheld devices obviously gonna look attractive especially when that's where your series does the best this one franchise has basically made a genre of its own with games like god eater freedom wars and Tokiden adopting that similar rpg slash action approach where hunting and cutting off monster parts is a standard and the big thing with all those titles i just mentioned is they all started on the vita a portable device. And if you notice, they all found their way on a home console as well. Taokiden 2, Taokiden Kaiwami, all the God Eaters, and most likely the newest one, all now have a PS Vita and a PS4 version. And I'm sure Freedom Worlds will be there soon. And to note, it's only a matter of time until the Vita is also dropped completely. So with the return of Monster Hunter on consoles, Capcom, what it's looking to be that they're going to be done with 3DS Monster Hunters and the death of the Vita that brought in so many new Monster Hunt or Hunter genre games. Have we reached a turning point? You know I gotta try, yo. Hey, I did, you know how it be. He be rapping beats. I be in the streets. I mean, in the seas. I be getting seas, but it disagrees. You know how it be. For starters, I do know, okay, that the Switch is getting the Monster Hunter Double Cross port. In fact, I've played it myself. But prior to my original statement where I was thinking that the Switch was a primary uh, portable console, after having it and using it for some time, I'm changing what I'm thinking. Not to get too deep into it, but the idea that they built this console with the idea of going anywhere and playing multiplayer games on one screen, it makes me feel like it's just a portable home console. Basically bringing that home console with you anywhere you want to go. That's what I see. Something that I find interesting is the dividing going on with this announcement of Monster Hunter World. Okay, so you have one side of the PlayStation and Xbox fans who maybe they do like Nintendo stuff, but they're not too invested into it, who are so excited for this, okay? We've been waiting for so long for the 3DS uh, Monster Hunters to finally stop and, you know, come back to the home, to the home plate, you know what I'm saying? Then on the other side, we have all these new be okay <laughs> newbie monster hunter fans who have been enjoying the series since like 2013 who are all mad that it's leaving now and their main point of argument is that you know whenever monster hunters on portable devices it allows you to do the ad hoc and real life engagement real life hunting and stuff like that and i mean i guess that's a good point I guess? Not really. Back in the day, I played Monster Hunter Freedom Unite so much. But you see, whenever the Vita got released and then Capcom didn't make a concrete game for the Vita, I kind of just lost interest in a sense. And at that point, you know, when I saw it on 3DS, I was like, all right, if you're not gonna do Vita, just bring it to PS4. I did try Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate demo on here and within like two minutes, I was like, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I was like, I'm not playing this thing. It's trash. So let's think about this, okay? Online multiplayer was in the original Monster Hunter, which was originally on a home console. So complaining about ad hoc being taken away and leaving is kind of being selfish. Because all people that started with the OG Monster Hunter did get to enjoy online multiplayer on your home console. And just now they're finally getting that experience back. <laughs> 
threat of stalemate. Oldies are happy that things are coming back, and newbies are complaining because of change. And you know people hate change, but really, I think this is a good step. Yes, okay, offline gatherings are kind of cool, okay? But I have never seen one with my own eyes. I'm talking about in person. You know, I can see some videos, but in my own eyes, I've never seen that shit happen. And I know many people are the same. As it is, I don't have any immediate friends to play with. You know, I might be able to convince some to get it, but as it is, I don't know one immediately to play with. And with how technology is now, it's not even that serious, okay? Every system, even the Switch, even though it is a cluster every system has a way to voice chat with your friends and it's basically like you're sitting next to them. And you know, ad hoc is more of a thing in Japan, like I said, so that's why they're getting it before us. But without putting my personal opinion in this, it is obvious that Monster Hunter does perform better on portable. But you see, this is a new step for Monster Hunter developers. They have never done anything on this scale. They have never utilized the power of the PC. Monster Hunter Online is basically just a Monster Hunter with cool graphics, while this one is utilizing a console's hardware. So what I'm saying is, even though Monster Hunter does better on portables, I think the times are changing. PS4 is slowly changing the East view on consoles, and its install base, PS4's install base, is basically the same as 3DS. And of course, it's growing each day. Monster Hunter World could be the next hit for the Monster Hunter franchise, and home consoles could be the new home for the series. But of course, okay, relax. Portable hunting isn't completely dead. We obviously have the Switch version coming, and I think once that port, if it does get ported, comes to the US, there will be a new series specifically for the Switch. Or maybe an old series will be resurrected. You see, I'm waiting and they hating and I'm sipping on my tea. Bad bitch walking past, may I stop you, please? And I'm hungry as a bitch, but this life ain't free. Life ain't if free. I'm trying to get this money, I can't really shake a tree. I'll be working, I'll be working, it's a quarter past three. Oh, when I stop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit.